Later that night, John is tucking one of his kids into bed when he senses his opportunity. At that point, this thing has now moved to a place where I can reach it. And I was like, OK, this is it. I woke up Margaret, and I said, you know, I'm going to pull this out of my mouth. He asked me to just hold the flashlight and, you know, make sure that he can see what he's doing in his mouth. I took the forceps. I had to dig into the tissue of my cheek, so there's a little bit of blood, and I just wedged one end under the creature inside of my mouth. He said, I got something. And you could see that he was holding the end of something in the forceps. So I'm definitely thinking, what am I doing here, holding a flashlight so that you can pull some creature out of your cheek, like this is like alien or something. I was really nervous. So I just very slowly pulled it out. Then I was able to finally see it in front of my face. It was a little kind of white worm, kind of the width of maybe a couple of threads and maybe that long or so. And it was moving, like it was wriggling around. Uh, it was incredibly surreal. John has no idea what living creature he's just pulled out of his mouth. Then as an invertebrate biologist, I've seen a lot of unusual animals, but I've never seen anything like this, and certainly, certainly nothing that I thought would be inside of me. But he's determined to find out what it is. We're just a few miles from my lab. John drives straight there. And even though it's the middle of the night, he's able to convince fellow scientist Aurora Kirscher to join him. John and I looked at the worm together under the microscope. And um, there's some features about the worm that's a little unusual. So if you look at the head region of the worm, it has these little like bubble structures. Based on these findings, Aurora and John have a suspicion about what type of worm this is. To confirm their hunch, they take a sample of the worm's DNA and run it through a computer database. It told us with 99% identity that this was a certain species of worm. And it's not just any worm. It's one of the rarest human parasites on Earth. This is not something you would like to have inside you.